Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we've got some really rather lovely news to talk about, including confirmation of a secret rare from the upcoming Battle Region set, and the first character from Pokemon Legends Arceus, who is getting, uh, well, a bunch of merch. But let's start off having a little bit of a look at Roxanne, because Roxanne today is apparently taking center stage. Over on the Japanese official Twitter this morning, they went and shared this lovely image. And what you can see from this lovely image is, I mean, you know, it's a little advert for Battle Region, which is coming out on the 25th of February, which is the end of this week. Yes, I'm excited and you should be too. But also, they've given us a lovely little hint at Full Art Roxanne. Yay! And this is something, you know, honestly pretty gosh darn exciting. Roxanne is a, a pretty popular character over in Pokemon, but Roxanne has not seen a huge amount of love in the trading card game. For anyone that doesn't know, she first came around in Gen 3 as the leader of Rusperous City Gym, and she's, she's a rock trainer, all right? She uses rock-type Pokemon. But in the TCG... Very, 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 very little. Um, we did have those gym badge promos that were released over in Japan a little while ago. There was one of them that featured Roxanne. That was it. That was the absolute best we ever got. Now we've actually got this Roxanne, and that's kind of cool, all right? Because it means that Roxanne finally gets her own card. Is it perfect? No. Is it long overdue? Obviously, she's a Gen 3 trainer that went and got her first card when we're, you know, two years or more than two years into Gen 8. But we got there in the end, ladies and gentlemen. We got there in the end. Is it a good card? Yes. Yes, it's a really good card. It is arguably too good. You can only play it if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. Both players shuffle their hand into their deck and you draw six cards and your opponent draws two. It's kind of like Ace Trainer, but with a couple of key differences. Firstly, Ace Trainer let your opponent draw three cards. This only lets them draw two. And secondly, Ace Trainer is if you were behind in the game. If you had more prize cards left than your opponent. This isn't that. This is just a blanket if your opponent has got three or fewer prize cards remaining. Which is kind of terrifying. Because you can have fewer prize cards than your opponent. You can be winning the game. You know, you can have one card left. Your opponent's got three. And you can play this to absolutely wreck them. Then you play any kind of hand disruption whatsoever to take a card out of their hand. And all of a sudden, they, they've, you know, this is the kind of thing that can put them down to a zero card hand pretty easily. And that's genuinely kind of terrifying because this is the kind of thing that Pokemon don't generally like to do. You know, give you an unplayable hand. This is a good comeback card, but the fact that you can use it when you're ahead in the game does somewhat hurt its status as a comeback card because you don't necessarily need to come back with it. And let's not forget that as much as we've got Eldegoss in the game at the moment, and we do, incidentally, means you can discard Roxanne in the early game and Eldegoss will get it back whenever you need it. But we've also got Luminion that's just come out. And what that means is I can use Luminion to search it out if it's in my deck, and Eldegoss to recover it if it's in my discard pile. And what this all basically adds up to is a card that I can find when I need it. And that's, um, I mean, good in terms of using the card, but this seems too good. So we're in this weird situation where we've got this card. It's going to be super easy to find, super easy to recover. And now I can really hurt my opponent with this. I think we are going to see a lot of Roxanne moving forward. I think it's going to be a one or two of in the vast majority of decks. And then, of course, there are going to be the decks that are built around it. Yes, it is absolutely fair to say that, you know, it's only when there's three or fewer prize cards left for your opponent. So maybe it's not going to work. Maybe it's too late in the game and your opponent's already too close to winning by that stage. 
But come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is, there is so much potential here for this to go very, very wrong. And now we've got a lovely full art version of it. And that's kind of lovely. And of course, you know, Roxanne, first card, popular character. Yeah. For what it's worth, there are only two other new supporter cards in, well, only two other supporter cards in the set. So if we're looking for full art supporters, the only other ones that could be drawn here, the only ones that could go in the set, are Silene and Kamado from Legends Arceus. Silene is the flip two coins, choose a number of cards from your discard pile equal to the number of heads, or up to, and put those cards on top of your deck. Really good for recovering stuff. And again, it's going to be these kind of control decks that are going to love this because you can recover all of your super annoying cards. Kamado lets you choose a card from your hand, discard every other card in your hand, and draw four cards. So you end up with a five-card hand, one card that you kept deliberately, and then four cards that you went and drew. So yeah, this is um, this is a good card. These are all pretty interesting cards. And this is going to be one that is going to see a bunch of play. It's not Professor's Research. And I don't think anyone's trying to pretend that it is Professor's Research. But it certainly is a card which I expect to see a whole bunch of play. These are cool cards. I'm not saying they will all get full art supporters. But I am saying that free full art supporters is not a huge amount for a set. We only have free supporter cards, so... I, I would feel pretty confident predicting they'll all get full art supporters. We've seen Roxanne. Now I suppose we wait to see the other two. But while we wait to see the other two, let me tell you about another character from Legends Arceus. We've got Arazu, and I'm sorry if that's not quite the right way to pronounce it. And we are being told that we are getting a... Well, I'll be honest with you, it's just a set of sleeves for the moment. Nothing more than a set of sleeves. What is very interesting to note is that these are being released on the 13th of May, which as it stands at the moment is the same date on which we're supposed to get Dark Phantasma, which, well, look, I long said that I thought this was going to be the Darkrai set. I said it was basically going to be Darkrai or Giratina. But we have seen that Darkrai V-Star deck, which has gone and, well, it's not been released in Japan, but it's coming out soon. And it does make me pause for thought just for a moment because, you know, the poster child of the set generally gets a V-Star or a V-Max, but nowadays a V-Star. You know, if we look at the Battle Region booster pack artwork, it's got the free first partner Pokemon, the final evolution from Legends Arceus, and they are the only free V-Star in the set. But why would they do a Darkrai set with a Darkrai V-Star right after they release Darkrai V-Star? So that does make me lean a bit more towards Giratina. And I'm not going to give you any spoilers for the game, but if you played Legends Arceus, that might help to inform your thinking about some Pokemon. Again, if you haven't played the game, go play it. Firstly, it is absolutely stunningly amazing. Secondly, spoilers are kind of open territory here i'll be a little bit careful where i can like today but if you've not played that game yet you really need to it is absolutely stunning but my point is this is coming out on the same day does that mean there's going to be an arazu supporter card in dark phantasma no no it doesn't does that mean that there is a good chance that we are going to get one of those in the set yes Yes, it does. And again, there is a big difference between it is confirmed and it is very, very likely. And honestly, given some of the conversations I end up having to have online, I do wish more people would learn the difference between confirmed and very, very likely. The fact that we're getting an Arazu set of sleeves on the same day as Dark Phantasma makes it very, very likely that we are getting an Arazu supporter in that set. It does not confirm it. You know, I showed you the new set of merch the other day, the stuff for Battle Region, and like is always the case, it matches nicely. So we end up with Starmy sleeves with Misty, which perfectly matches the fact that there is a Starmy character super rare with Misty coming in the set. And I showed you there are Cleaver sleeves, which matches perfectly the fact that there is Cleaver, including a character rare, coming along in the set. And this shouldn't surprise anyone. Yeah, this is what they do. They match the sleeves to what's actually being released. We've got the Darkrai V-Star deck coming out, 
And coming along with that, we got a Dark Ride deck box and a set of sleeves. So it is extremely likely that Arazu is actually getting her own support card in Dark Phantasma. It is not confirmed. It is confirmed we're getting some sleeves, but we don't have a look at them. Boo, hiss, etc. I have told you at this stage everything that I can, and now it's over to you guys. We got a lovely new full art supporter that we've seen. We got some other ones that are likely but not confirmed. And then we've got Arazu coming over and being well. A little bit of a focus. And again, if you played Legends Arceus, that'll hopefully give you a little bit more context. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know how much you like this new full art supporter card. I want to know how much you want the other supporters to get full art cards. I want to know basically anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.